that's the direction the train will be coming from to pick me up. We're going to get on the train and go to Sunnyvale and visit Victor. He's going to show us his 49 cars all over. So this is going to be an interesting day. the train we're going to go on, but I thought I'd photograph it anyway, because it's just so beautiful. Now that was just a sample. The next one Hey guys, how are you doing today? Hi. Good. It kind of matches your coat there. Yeah, it does it? Yeah. You got, you got a favorite color there? I love red, I love burgundies. Burgundy, red. Purple, all that kind of stuff. Oh, nice of purple. Yeah, yeah. Oh that gosh, was that you or me? I guess it was you. Oh, it was him? It was him. Oh, you did it. Okay. Well, we're going to get on the train now. All right. All right. And I like to sit upstairs, so guess what we're going to do? We're going to go upstairs. Hi. The are about and it's not running it. And this is running it. But now that the running it station, this is running it.
heard him. We're here. This was our conductor. Yes, Dave. Yes. How you doing? I'm Mike. Hi, good to see you, Mike. Good to How see you too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, we're here. And look who it is. The other half of my crew coming to meet me. Well, I made it. You gotta go back, I didn't get it. Let's do another take, another take. Okay, you can do it. No, it's okay. Victor, how are you? Oh, fine. You know what? What? I think you're going to get up down there instead of behind the fire. Like, where's Victor? Oh. Well, I get off anywhere I can. Yeah. Yes. Like, oh, shit. Where everybody always, everybody always like, asks oh. me, where do you get off? <laughs> well, so now, you know, we're in Sunnyvale, of course, and we're going to see Victor's 49 cars. But first of all, we're going to go to a very special location. It's called the Libby's Can. There it is, the Libby's can, and it's a beautiful day. Like Victor said, it's about 75 degrees, it's sunny, a little bit of a breeze, but uh, not too bad. So now we're going to walk over to the Libby's can. What's the best way to go to get there? That way. That way? Are you sure? Positive. Only fools are positive. Are you sure? I'm positive. Well, we made it. Success. Good shot. Yeah, these are really pretty grounds. This is a Sunnyvale office park. And, uh, wow, it's groomed nicely. There are beautiful wildflowers and regular flowers as well. And, of course, the Libby sign. So, now we're going to go to Victor's apartment and we're going to look at his cars. How many of them do you have? Uh, 49. 49. This place isn't an apartment, it's a museum. Say, buddy. Oh boy, she can be my buddy anytime. Why, yo? Get your kicks on Route 66. I bet you thought we were going to look at real cars, huh? Well, I tricked you. But this cat over here used to be a serious car collector. I mean, real cars. The guy would buy and sell cars so much that the DMV sent him a letter one time saying, if you buy or sell one more car in this year, you must apply for a dealer's license. That tells you how much this guy used to buy and sell cars. I was in the car one time with him. He had just bought a car. We were in the car together driving it home. He saw a for sale sign on the car outside. Next thing you know, the guy's up on the doorstep of the guy dickering with him, trying to get the price lowered so he can buy that one too. This is pretty much the entire collection, all 49 of them. 
It's kind of funny because the guy actually spent more money on these cars than he did for some of his real ones. So tell me a little bit about what you have right here. Uh, we have stuff, uh, cars going back from the 40s and then the 50s and uh, uh, some of them are in, in the 60s. Here's a maroon 1940 Ford Deluxe Coupe, 1948 Chrysler New Yorker, 1948 Chevrolet Fleetmaster Woody. Here's a 1948 Tucker, 1950 Chevrolet Bel Air Coupe. A 1953 Hudson Hornet Club Coupe, and it's kind of a reddish color. It's really pretty. 1969 Dodge Coronet. Victor actually owned one of these. I was with him when he bought it. 1970 Rolls-Royce Phantom. And even though he never has to worry about insurance, registration, or gasoline, we still have to have a gasoline station, just in case maybe one day he needs some. And we mustn't forget the piece de resistance, the movie, Bullet, which is 50 years old this year, 2018. What do you think he's got? I have the RT. I supplied the RT logo, but Victor supplies the cars. So this is Victor's museum. Time for us to wrap it up, so we're going to take off now. Um, I'm going to drive the Mustang, you drive the Charger? Sounds good to me. Okay, let's go. Uh, I'm ready. Are you? Yeah. Right behind you. <laughs>